Hi, Gemini. Hi. Hi, Gemini. It's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. Um, thank you again to those who already do so. Um, I hope that you guys are safe and healthy. Okay. Um, let's get into this. Okay. Let's get into the reading for this week. Let's see what's going on for Gemini this week, Lord God. Bless Gemini with a clear and concise message for this week. Gemini, we've got our cards for this week. Let's see what's going on. All right, wow, it could be some some uh, significant changes happening for you, Gemini. Um, whatever is going on, you're going to come out on top here. Um, it's a win for you. You're lucky here. Um, it could be a lucky break, also. Um, it says that luck is on your side, but keep in mind you don't control how luck is trying to manifest in your your reality okay but just know that you're lucky so this week we have the strength card mm -hmm. we have the magician there's you and then we have the seven of water some of you are trying to be something could really change for you something is changing for you somebody or you you're using your words very carefully um you're trying to play your cards right by way of what you say or what you don't say um you could be blowing smoke up somebody's ass here with the seven of water here you could be making promises and you know that it just isn't you aren't going to do any of that. Or someone could be doing this to you, Gemini. This is someone who... that They might not think of you in the best light or vice versa. You don't think of them in the best light. There's like already some harsh judgment here. Um, the need to forgive and, re and release that harsh judgment. This person might try to get you to do that because... It could be a Sagittarius person or a Piscean person. They could try to get you to back down in regards to this relationship or marriage or business or whatever it may be. They could be just saying the right things. Or this is you, Gemini, saying the right things because you know what desired outcome you want. You are manipulating the energy here by way of maybe spoken word. Using all that you have to kind of create a facade and a, a, an illusion. And you can do that with words also. Um, this could be you, Gemini. This could be a Virgo. Somebody's doing some real fast talking. That's what I hear. Fast talking. Um... It could be a Leo that you're dealing with or someone with Leo in their chart. Someone who has a big ego. And um, this fast talking and these promises is, is their way of apologizing. But they don't mean any of this. This is, They've done this before. They, It's a cycle here. You know, this is what they do maybe to reel you back in. Say that they're going to change, that they care, that they're going to be different, that they're going to do this and do that. Nothing really gets um, accomplished here. You could be dealing with a Virgo, Leo, a Gemini like yourself, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Let's see. It could be, so if it resonates with you, and, and I just called out one of those signs. It could be you or the other person. Then, you know, it's your, you can say it's your message. If it doesn't resonate and it's one of those signs that you're dealing with, then it's not your message. 
with these things, these readings on YouTube, they're for entertainment purposes. We have to say that. Uh, but a lot of times, you know, it can ring true for a lot of people. Um, but you, it, it has to be, it starts with you. It doesn't start with me as the reader. There are going to be thousands of people who view this video. I can't read for every person. So you have to know what resonates with you. If you want to measure it on a scale, if nine out of the ten things that I said resonates with your situation, then it could very well be kind of aligned with you. If two things resonates, then you take that, but you, you, you leave the rest because it just doesn't resonate. Um, and if you find yourself in confusion, it might just be you. It might just be that you're watching way too many readings. And I don't know why I was led to go into that little spiel, but maybe that was for somebody. And when you find yourself confused about tarot, general messages, general tarot card messages, it's you. It's not the reader. Stop watching all these different readings and then you're upset at this one, upset at that one. Do what I do. Read the title. If I feel like it resonates with my life, I, I listen to it. If it doesn't, I don't go there. I'm not about to make, I'm not going to force it. And even if I start to listen to a video and it doesn't resonate, I turn it off. I don't write the reader. This doesn't resonate. Why would you say that? They're not, this is not a personal reading, guys. Okay? So take the personal out. If you want a personal reading, you know how to do that. You know how to get that. This is not a this is not for you, okay? I don't know you. Okay? Technically, you don't know me either. Okay. The what's the advice for Gemini? The tower. Um so maybe some old foundation is going to crumble. Maybe how you think about a person, um, about a relationship, um about a business, about a marriage. You know, maybe it was built on faulty ground anyhow. Maybe you were letting someone get away with things that they should have never gotten away with. Maybe you, you know, or maybe this was you. Um, it just, you guys tried to build a foundation on something that it just wasn't solid ground here, okay? So, the tower is coming in to break some things down. It could be an unexpected event, change. What this it says that the problems in a relationship in some type of situation have historical um value, meaning that this it has history of the same issues, but y'all just keep going and then it arises again the same issue, then you just keep going. But it says now you, you got to let it fall either within yourself, Gemini, or you have to let it fall within a dynamic. That's you and something or someone else. Um, yeah, justice is here. Could be dealing with a Libra. Could be dealing with anybody at this point. Everybody's here. So if it resonates, it resonates. Um, maybe you guys can let this old sh uh, faulty... this old faulty tower fall so that you guys can rebuild you know in the right way righteously um, you can even be getting advice from someone good advice an apology um, something that sets you on the right course here you guys may be apologizing for someone to you or, or maybe it could be mutual it says the advice here is the page of fire Go in a new direction. Choose peace. Choose serenity. Choose calm. Choose better. Choose ease. Some of you could be planning a vacation. Or in much need of a vacation. Some of you could be lending a helping hand. You may get a message from someone that they can do or you can do and then they'll do. You know, it, it's kind of conditional here. 
but it takes you in a in a different direction. This could be you, Gemini, um, giving you know just the words, the spoken words of that can uh, you know ignite some or that could um, you know it could push a relationship forward. It can push a person forward, but it's it's that message that brings about movement, energy. Uh, you are doing something or you will be you're giving the message of actually doing something let's see what you should be focused on this week Gemini um, very good energy even though you know some you know the towers here it's not always bad bad it's like you keep letting something that should have been dealt with you keep letting it go and you keep, but you want to change and you wanted something different and you're praying for something different but you just keep letting the same issues go so the tower comes in and helps you along what should gemini be focused on this week what should gemini be focused on this week oh my god thank you okay uh this flipped over dietary change okay uh so maybe your diet needs to change for some of you, it could even be self-employment. Um, this might be the opportunity for you to get something off the ground, paperwork, um, court official documents, some, some legal documents off the ground here, um, or at least to complete them. If you can't get them filed, um, dietary change says that you want to look into maybe veganism vegetarianism pescatarianism pescatarianism i guess whatever um being a pescatarian okay um it's something that you're engaging in too much sugar salt something needs to change here um, there needs to be balance here you need to restore balance The advice is to apologize or accept an apology. And look at a person's actions also, okay? Um, Gemini, if this reading resonated with you, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the coupon codes below. You can also email your one question to the email address below. Pay for your question or see the answer to your question via email. Uh, thank you. Gemini, take care. Many blessings to you.